Hello, I'm Tom Gorman, Chief Executive Officer of Brambles. As part of our shared values in the Brambles family of companies, we are all committed to zero harm. Now this commitment extends to all of our employees, it extends to all of our business partners, and of course it extends to the people that we come into contact with as part of our day-to-day -day work. The Blue Tips video that you are about to see contains very important information regarding your safety, so please pay close attention. Zero harm is everyone's responsibility. We all have a critical role to play in keeping ourselves and those around us safe. Thank you very much for taking the time to view this video today. Welcome to CHEP, a global leader in pallet and container pooling services with locations in 45 countries around the world. Our biggest commitment is to our employees and environment in achieving zero harm and considers the health, safety, and environment impacts in all its decisions. All contractors and visitors must abide by the contractor management procedure which is outlined in this orientation video. A writing copy of this procedure can be provided upon request to the facilities management team. All visitors must sign in before entering the facility. There are many hazards you may be exposed to within our facility, so it is mandatory for all persons entering the operational floor to wear personal protection equipment, or PPE, at all times. The PPE that is required inside a CHEF facility includes, but not limited to, safety glasses, high visibility clothing or safety vests, hearing protection, and steel-toed boots or toe caps. CHEP operates a very busy and fast-paced sort and repair facility. Hazards are all around you and awareness of your surroundings is critical. For this reason, walking and talking on cell phones is not permitted. If you need to be on the operations floor, place cones around you to make it clear you are in the area. Conveyors shall not be crossed over or interacted with during operation. If work is needed to be completed on a conveyor system, follow all lockout tagout procedures to ensure there is no automatic startup. Tippers, rollers, and any other piece of equipment that is beside an interlocking gate must also be locked out before work is completed. Failure to comply with these critical safety precautions will lead to the removal of any contractor or visitor. Although very rare, with plant manager approval, any contractor or visitor working in the storage area must take extreme caution. No one should lean, move, or alter any pallet stacks. Always be careful of walking in between stacks with high levels of traffic in the area. Repair tables provide many dangers that should be avoided. Stay at least 10 feet away from the repair tables as flying debris can come in contact with you. Stay out of all repair areas unless necessary to complete your assigned task. If you need to go into repair areas, ask all repairmen in the areas to stop work or move to another table if your task will take more than a couple of minutes. While walking in a CHEP facility, follow the marked paths and stop at corners before crossing intersections. Always make sure to keep an eye on the forklifts and make sure the drivers can see you. Similar to truck drivers, forklift drivers also have blind spots. Be sure to listen for horns and backup alarms as operators may not see you if you are located in these blind spots. If you need to cross a path where a forklifter is located, please make sure the forklift driver makes eye contact with you before proceeding. Visitors and contractors are not allowed to operate, move, or drive a CHEP-owned forklift. Due to the unpredictability of trucks coming in and leaving the facility, all visitors and contractors 
should not go into truck yards unless escorted. If your work at the facility is within the truck yards, you must wear high visibility clothing and steel-toed boots. Also, never walk between or behind trailers. Stay out of truck blind areas and always park in designated parking areas. Every contractor and visitor is responsible for the tidiness, cleanliness, and hygiene at the CHEP facility. Any waste that you produce must be removed at the end of your visit. If needed, a MSDS must be provided to the facility management team if chemicals are brought onto site. Indoor smoking is not allowed at any time inside a CHEP facility. There are designated locations outside the plants for smoking that are labeled. If you have to complete a non-routine task, such as using an aerial lift, scaffold, or the need for fall protection, work with the site safety lead to develop a safety plan with the contractor's authorization permit. This will ensure the safety of the individuals doing the job and the CHEP employees that may be affected. In the event of an emergency, please exit the building from the nearest exit and meet at the rally point outside of the plant to ensure you are accounted for. Please do not leave the facility campus before instructed to. If you are injured or cause any type of facility damage during your time of visit, please contact plant management and follow any instructions that are given to you. CHEP is committed to doing the right thing every day. The health and safety of our employees and the environmental protection of our community is not something we take lightly. During their time at our facilities, we hold our visitors and contractors in helping us achieve this goal. Please sign the contractor visitor form agreeing to follow our policies. We thank you for coming to our facility and for your support with our zero harm efforts.